Yo YouTube, what's going on? Streamers Playbook here, and I'm here to make your streams come true. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to enable auto hosting on Twitch. Now, auto hosting is great for networking, and what it does is while you're offline, it will host another channel. So, like I said, if you have like a group of streamers, you guys could all host each other. That way, no one ever goes offline. Now, I'll go into more details later, but for now, let's hop into this and I'll show you how to do it. And as always, if you like that, those transitions, if you're looking for emotes, overlays, transitions, own.tv, link in the description, best out there for overlays so your stream can look legit. Okay, we're on my streaming channel here, we're on Twitch, my Twitch channel. What you want to do, you want to go up here now to your profile icon, go ahead and click it, you're going to go down to your settings, all right? Now, once you're in your settings, you want to go over here to channels and videos, it'll take you to channel over here. Now you want to go over to featured content up here, all right? Go ahead and click featured content. And you'll see now it'll say auto hosting all right so what you want to do is make sure you have this in a clicked on it should be purple right once it's clicked on now your channel will be auto hosting when you go offline all right and it'll automatically like it says automatically host channels from your host list when you're offline now we'll go down into more details down below but first i want to show you this is how you would add people to your hosting list go down to the bottom here which says host list go ahead and click it and then you can see these are the people that I auto host. I would search if I want to add someone. I go up here, I search for them, and I would just click that add button. And it would add them to this list, all right? So that's how you would add people to your list. Now, you could also host team channels. Now, you have to be a Twitch partner in order to create like a, a team, a stream team, I guess you could call it. But in order to join a team, you, you don't have to be anything. You can be a regular Joe and you could join it. So what team channels are is it's like if you guys all have like, let's say a same niche, a same game, you guys are all family friendly, something, you could form like a stream team and then you would all just like auto host each other, suggest each other on your streams. By the way, I made a video about how to suggest streamers on Twitch. I'll put it in the description below. One of my most popular videos, by the way, so feel free to check it out. But that's what teams are. So if you wanted to host people from your team, you would just click that. Now you could enable this to host pre-recorded videos. If People want to come in your streams and can see a pre-recorded video. Now, this is kind of important here. This is the host priority. So like I showed you, my list is a lot of like my streaming friends. It would be kind of messed up if I enabled this one. Host channels by the order they appear in the list. So you can do that or you could just host channels randomly from the list. That's what I choose. But if you're hosting maybe some bigger streamers or you do have like a list, I like this streamer first, then this one, then this one, you can choose this one up here. And then whatever, however they appear on the list is how they'll appear. That, that's the order it will go for hosting. All right. So like I said, I'm auto hosting. So right now, if you go to my channel, it'll be auto hosting one of someone from my host list that's currently streaming, whoever that may be. I'm not sure. All right. Now, like I already mentioned, auto hosting is great. If you like group your streaming friends together and say, hey, let's all auto host each other. Twitch has even come out and said that it, it saw an increase in watch time in people's channels who had 10 or more like people auto hosting each other. So it's something to consider. Like I said, your channel may never go offline. If you have like a group of stream friends and you guys all auto host each other, it could be a pretty sweet deal. Now, suggesting streamers is another option. Like I said, I'll put a video down below of how to suggest streamers on Twitch. Feel free to check it out. And remember, I'm coming out with five, kind of five streaming tip videos a week. So you want to hit the sub if you're into streaming so you don't miss a video. There are little tips and tricks to help you, but I promise you I have stuff that's going to help you with your streams. Go ahead and subscribe, click, click the like, this is helpful. And if you have any questions, comment down below or any comments, anything you want me to make a video on, go ahead and comment. Thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.